As you probably already know, on February 24th next year, Cisco is updating their entire certification structure. So, how does this affect those of you interested in getting your CCNA security? Well, as it states here, if you get your CCNA security before that date, you will keep your CCNA security. You will keep it for three years, as is the case now. However, because they are retiring the certification, you won't be able to renew it once those three years pass. However, you will also receive the new CCNA, as well as a training badge, which isn't a certification, but will indicate to potential employers that you have studied network security. So, if you're interested in getting the CCNA security, I still think it's worth it to go for it, even with the changes coming next year. In this video, I'll show you how I went about getting my CCNA security earlier this year. Unfortunately, unlike for the CCNA routing and switching, which has an amazing official cert guide which covers everything you need to know for the certification, the CCNA Securities official cert guide is simply insufficient. The three-star rating on Amazon is pretty accurate, I'd say. With that said, I did use this as my first resource, and it helped me learn some of the basics. If you choose to use this book as well, don't make the mistake of assuming that it will be enough to prepare for the exam. I also use this, the CCNA Security Portable Command Guide. This book doesn't just cover the CLI configurations you need to know for the exam, but also includes plenty of valuable explanations. Much better than the official cert guide, in my view. The four and a half star rating on Amazon shows this as well. Finally, one more valuable book is the 31 days before your CCNA security. This is a good review book. Again, much more useful than the official cert guide, and it breaks down all the topics of the exam into separate days, which you can use to review before the exam. Each chapter is fairly short, so you don't have to actually spend 31 days to go through it, but I recommend this book either way. Since I was a member of NetworkLessons.com, I also used the Cisco ASA Firewall course available here. The ASA is a big part of the CCNA security exam, and you should be comfortable configuring one. As always, the explanations and labs on this site are very helpful. Not all of this is necessary for the CCNA security exam, but I'd recommend going through all of it for the knowledge, which is the point of studying anyway. Once again, I highly recommend making your own flashcards as you study. Flashcards were extremely helpful for me when studying for my certifications, and I'm certain I couldn't have achieved them in such a short time without the help of the program Anki. This program will really help you actually remember what you study. Please check Anki out at apps.ankiweb.net. Now, let's talk about labbing. As always, labbing is absolutely essential to get hands-on experience that you will need for the exam. I again recommend GNS3. For the CCNA security, you will need to configure a Cisco ASA firewall. To do that, you can use the Cisco Viral ASAV image. I'll put a link to Cisco Viral in the description. I also used the Viral router and switch images in my labbing for CCNA and CCNP routing and switching, and also CCNA security. If you need help getting the Cisco ASA V working on GNS3, I recommend David Bomble's videos. Here's one, which I'll put a link to in the description. Now, a common theme in these videos of mine is boson practice exams. I do, again, recommend their practice exams for the CCNA security. Although the general opinion is that these aren't as good as their routing and switching exams, I still felt that they were very valuable in my preparations for the exam. Like I said in my previous videos, I recommend taking one exam, identifying your weak points from the score analysis at the end, studying your weak points, and then taking the exam. Also, make sure to read Boson's explanations for each question. There are always detailed explanations for why each correct answer is correct and why each wrong answer is wrong. That's all I used for the CCNA security. Unfortunately, there aren't very many good resources out there for this exam, at least compared to the routing and switching exams. However, these are the resources I used and I managed to pass the exam on my first attempt, and so can you. 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. I will do my best to answer every question. Good luck with your studies.